Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and in today's video I want to show you how you can keep your Facebook profile or account safe from phishing scams or getting hacked or compromised um, by just making sure that you do a couple of simple steps. Our local news has recently reported uh, a story about how someone had their Facebook account hacked um, I've also seen some of our friends online who've been getting their accounts compromised as well. So I just want to quick show you the Better Business Bureau website here, the BBB. Their accreditation and rating of Facebook is currently a rating of an F. And it says here, reasons for the rating, failure to respond to 8,615 complaints filed against the business. Um, I would think a lot of these complaints are people that are getting their accounts compromised it is not a priority for Facebook to fix these problems. Let's talk about how you can make sure your Facebook account is secure. And throughout the video, as I'm showing you these steps, I will be showing you both how to do this on a desktop or laptop computer, as well as right after that, how to do this on your mobile device if you've got the app installed. So the first thing I would recommend is that you have a strong password to log into your Facebook profile. When was the last time you changed or updated that password? If it's been a while, this may be something that you need to go in and update. To update your password on your Facebook account, simply go to facebook.com and then while you're at that main page, go click on your profile icon in the upper right corner. And from this point, you're gonna go down to settings and privacy. Then you're gonna to go to settings. And then this takes me to this settings and privacy area. On the left side, I get this little meta accounts center box. And at the bottom, it says see more in accounts center. I'm gonna click that link. So from this point, if you have multiple profiles, maybe you run a business, you have a personal page, if you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, you're gonna see all those different accounts. But on the left side here under Account Center, you wanna look for account settings and then password and security. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So from this point, you get this password and security area and right here is where you can go in and change your password. To change or update your password in the Facebook mobile app, make sure you're on the main homepage. I know this because there's a house in the upper left corner that is highlighted. From here, I'm gonna tap on my profile icon, which is located in the upper right portion of the screen. Once I've tapped on my profile icon, this takes me into the menu area. I wanna tap on the gear icon located in the upper right. Now from this point, you can search the list of items that's all the way at the bottom. Essentially, you're looking for the security and privacy settings. What is easiest for me is just to go to the search bar that's at the very top for searching settings and I'm going to type in password. Once I type that in, all of a sudden I see password and security show up under my list of items. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and then right here I can see password and security. My first option is to change password. So I can go ahead and tap on that, follow the prompts to change my password. A strong password is typically something that is 12 characters long uh, 14 characters is better uh, and it's a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. I actually have used password vaults to help me remember passwords. One of the programs I like to use is 1Password and I will leave a link down in the video description if you want to check this out. This is what I use to store all of my passwords for all the different things that I have password logins for. This eliminates me having to write these down in a physical book and I can just go into this app and it saves all of my passwords. If you're having trouble coming up with a password that's going to be longer and complicated with numbers and symbols, you can use a website like onepassword.com forward slash password dash generator, which I'll link to down in the video description. But on this page, you can choose a random uh, characters, how many characters you want. Like I said, 12 to 14 is great. Add numbers, symbols, and now this has randomly generated a password that I can use. If I don't like this and I want to refresh it, I can figure out which one I really want. And then I can just go to copy here. It now copies that password and I can paste it in for my login. It 
would also be a password that I would store somewhere like in the one password app I'm using so that I can easily recall it for logging in later on. The next thing I would highly recommend is turning on two-factor authentication. On your mobile device and the Facebook app, also under that password and security, there's also an area where you can update your two-factor authentication. I can also go back to that search bar and type in authentication and then my first option that pops up is two-factor authentication. So what is two-factor authentication? Essentially what this is doing is when you try to log in to your Facebook account, if you have two-factor authentication turned on, it is going to send you an email to the email that you registered your account with, uh, or it's going to send a text message code to your phone number um, essentially, it's sending you a code that you'll either need to check your email or your phone number for that code and then enter that code in before it's going to let you log into your Facebook account. What this does is it prevents somebody that might be trying to hack into your Facebook account from being able to log in because you're going to get a notification. You're going to get an email or a text message saying, hey, are you trying to log into Facebook right now? And if you're not, you can just say no to that notification. A lot of people do not have two-factor authentication turned on. And so if somebody gets your password and they've got your email for logging into your Facebook account, now they've got access to your account. They can change the password, change the email. Your account is compromised. You have this extra step by doing two-factor authentication that will stop that from happening. So one of the ways a lot of people's accounts become compromised is through a system called phishing with a PH. And essentially there's many different forms of this types of phishing. But as an example, you may uh, see a post on a friend's Facebook page that a famous person's died. And when you click through the link in their post, you're taken to a fake Facebook login page where you're unknowingly giving your account credentials. So be careful. If you thought that you were already logged into Facebook and now it's having you log in again, question that and actually go in your browser to facebook.com to uh, see if you, know, you really are on Facebook or if this is trying to take you somewhere else. If there's suspicious links that you need to click on, be careful before you tap or click on those links because once you do that, you're starting to engage in this phishing activity. Something else to note is you may see something that looks suspicious or strange on one of your friend's posts. Look and see if there's other comments already made on that post. A lot of times other people can spot if it's a fake post or if it's suspicious, and they're going to tell you right there, this account has been compromised or hacked. Don't click on any links. Don't respond to any of these posts. Be wary of that. Something else you have to be careful of is anytime you are logging into Facebook on a public device. This might be at a library. This might be at your place of work, school. If you are logging in, you have to make sure that that account is completely logged out after you're done using it. Because if you don't log out, somebody else, the next person that's accessing that device, now has complete access to your Facebook profile. They could easily go into your change password under settings and change your password, locking you out of your Facebook account. Also making sure that your browser is updated and the most up-to-date version on your device. I like to use Google Chrome and under Google Chrome in the upper right are these three dots. I can go ahead and click on that. Then from here, I can go down to the bottom where it says settings. And on the bottom left, if I go to about Chrome, I can see here that my Chrome is up to date. If it wasn't, it would give me a link here to update it. So you can go into your Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, search for your app, Facebook. And when you bring that up, usually under the description, it'll tell you if it's up to date or if it needs to be updated. Um, you always want to make sure that you have the latest version of the Facebook app updated. And you can always go to facebook.com forward slash help to report things. Over on the left side here, you'll see I can report abuse, report a problem with Facebook, and more. 
This is areas where you can tell Facebook about maybe a phishing scam or something you've seen, or if you need help with your Facebook account, that's what the Help Center is there for. If you found the information in this video useful, take a second, smash that like button. If you think somebody else could use the information in this video, please share this video with them. My hope is that everybody can keep their Facebook accounts secure and we can avoid having more accounts compromised. Hey, I've also done a whole bunch of other tutorial videos, including Facebook and Google things, how you can download photos and all sorts of stuff. Be sure to check out some of those videos. They will also be linked down in the video description. I do weekly videos like this on my channel, and I'd love to have you come along with me. As always, be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.